Okay, right, good. Good morning, and today is April twenty first, twenty twenty one, and we're gonna make a review about XRP. It's been a while since I've been talk about it, and we had much thing to say. Um, we've been following this conference between one dollar ninety seven ninety nine to three dollar thirty cents. The first thing we can say, we're still in the monthly time frame. I always thought my analysis on the biggest time frame is this zone is very scary actually. And the reason why is because this is because of this candle right there. So you know those conference they are made it by three big time frame, the daily, the weekly and the monthly. Well XRP didn't really I mean barely touch the first line and then this reaction is very violent and this is kind of scary it's a good news for the bear and in honestly it's um, pretty bad news for the bulls because if we have that kind of rejection already and because uh, even like when is doing better at that point you know like when is actually fighting this zone but XRP literally gave up at the very first touch. This is impressive. A big rejection at the very first touch, barely touched it, a big rejection of 27%. And the bears are maintaining that rejection. This is not a scary thing because today is Wednesday and this is already the third, third day of the week. And XRP only have four more days to fight back. And we had that rejection and the bears, they are maintaining that rejection. That is quite scary, honestly. And on a lower time frame, um, there's nothing interesting. And on, it's just more, it, it gets more scarier because there, there is a possibility for Mike Dick to cross here. And we, if we have that cross, that will seal the win for the bear on XLP. Now, if you are one of those trader on low time frame, you know, day traders and scalper, and XRP is probably the coin, I mean, for shorts, you know, small shorts and for one day position, that kind of stuff. Um, this is not a good news. I mean, I don't, I don't like to bring those, those bad news, but since every coin are fighting, you know, proudly, those confidence, XLP is literally um, is not winning right there, so um, there's no need to go in a lower time frame. If if we have to do any 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 studies, maybe XLP gonna try again. Let's hope that this week uh, we make it in that zone. At least we even if we close between two dollar and three thirty cents that would be a good thing but this like i said guy yeah, this is not a good this is not good for xlp from a bullish perspective because we are in a bull market coin with good fundamental are supposed to perform very good you know in a bull market you have two coins that perform crazy coin with good fundamental and coin that have been pumped by hypes and wimmer news out there so in the bear market is the inverse you know when that goes very low like 90 80 90 percent deep uh, or when with bad fundamental and then when that with lots of pessim pessimistic reviews and for xlp right now to behave like that in a bull market in a bull market that's that's been there for almost two years that's a very bad bad thing you know uh, XLP is making it on the short list. E XLP is going to stay in the short list for me. So um, that's it for this with you on XLP. And if you have any question, find, you can find me on Virtual Bitcoin Server. The link is on the description. And um, I'll, I'll gladly answer all your questions. Alright, take care. Bye.